In this video, I'll show you how to use the Flipper Zero to determine if your tire pressure sensor, TPMS, is alive or dead. Just a little more information about how this is helpful. Most modern cars have a TPMS tire pressure monitor sensor, little battery powered sensors that are actually inside your wheel to tell your car how much pressure you have in each tire and alert you when the pressure is too high or too low. Of course, being little battery powered sensors that are talking wirelessly to your car, there are lots of things that can go wrong. You might not have a sensor, let's say if you bought the wheel used. The sensors can be unpaired, in which case your vehicle doesn't know that the sensor is there. The sensor's battery can be dead, or the sensor can be damaged, etc. In these cases, the car at best simply indicates that the sensor is not responding. And depending on the learn procedure for your car, you might not be able to easily determine which sensor or sensors are problematic. So if you have a Flipper Zero and want a quick way to test and see if there's a sensor that is alive and well in a wheel, you're in luck. The Flipper Zero is capable of receiving the frequency range that most of these sensors use. The frequency ranges differ between vehicle manufacturers and you can usually find the information online as to which one you need. I'm located in the US and I have a GM Chevy Volt and that operates on 315 megahertz. Now, these sensors remain in a sleepy state to conserve battery power, so you'll want a TPMS learning tool, which is available on Amazon for around $20. This device sends a wake-up signal to the sensor so that it transmits immediately, and that signal will be intercepted by the Flipper Zero so that we can verify that it's actually working. We can't actually decode the data, but we can see it, and that's all we need to know that it's alive. First, I'm going to hit the uh, center button. And I'm going to choose sub gigahertz mode and read raw. All right, and then as you hit the left arrow key, it goes into config. I'm going to set my frequency to 315. That's what it is on my car, but it might be different on yours. I'm going to turn the sound on. All right, leave everything else the same. And now if I hit record, that's the center button and it's running. So what you're hearing is just background noise, it's not any sensor. Now I'm gonna bring this sensor over and I'm gonna use my TPMS Learn Engager. All right, and you can hear and see data from the sensor. Now, as you can see, the that is the sensor making that sound because this thing is done transmitting. So once again, I'll just trigger it. Right, those chirps you're hearing are coming from the TPMS sensor itself. Now to stop the recording, I'm just going to hit the button. And now I can optionally save this. I don't really need to because I just wanted to see if the sensor was transmitting. So I'm going to hit left button, which is erase. And it's gone. Ready to test the next sensor. Now I'm over here at my car. And I've got a sensor that I want to test. So I'm going to do it right in situ here. I've got it on 315 megahertz. I'm setting my sound to on. And hit record. And as you can hear, there's this background noise. And I will engage my learning trigger. And I hear chirps. So that's a good sensor. Still going. All right, and now I'm gonna go over here to this wheel, which I suspect has a bad sensor. Still running. Yep. As you can see, the sensor does not do anything. So that's a bad one. 